so hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl barista Nese, and this is Nezeville. in today's video we will be addressing a rather unfortunate incident that happened in the uk last week pathetic infuriating maddening it was particularly burdensome to me first as a woman of color never fancied that name first as a black woman residing in the west and secondly as a mother of boys so yes a hit on another level in this disturbing video we saw a handsome decent looking well-dressed responsible young chap a black kid and he was walking down the streets he wasn't troubling nobody he was right on his lane wearing that cool calculated and confident smile and just about the time the video started we observed that he was being confronted by a group of boys white kids well not kids i wouldn't call them kids because they are grown enough to comprehend the concept of right and wrong so he was accosted by a group of white lads in the open space they charged at him shoved him rained punches on him like getting him beaten up right on the streets at this point many people were expecting a reaction but there was none the young black chap maintained his cool and then the main character the chief antagonist in the whole act began ordering this young black boy to bow down before him and kiss his dirty shoes and this boy hesitated oh yes he showed some hesitation but the bully kept on going and the black kid looked around scanning his environment didn't lose his smile did not lose his cool and then he bent and kissed the dirty shoes of the bully Several meanings and topics and lessons can be derived from this incident. The first that will come to mind is certainly the obvious, racial bullying. This has been in existence for a very long time, made worse and further amplified by decades of slave trading, years of colonialism, and even the modern era of neocolonialism. And despite more and more condemnation, despite more and more awareness being put out there against these vices despite countries and institutions coming up with legislation and policies to keep it in check to discourage it to abolish it to avert it or at least mitigate its occurrence racism sadly will never go away the statistics of its open practice may reduce but it will still certainly remain at least in its passive systematic and unprovable form and that is a sad fact you see the truth is that some people have still not been able to come to terms with the fact and stomach the reality that some people whose forefathers were imported as commodities whose forefathers were made to work on their farms and plantations whose great great grandparents were bought and sold in open markets like goods who couldn't even dare to ride a horse or attend the same school as their children or sit in the same church as their wives are now becoming one of the best doctors in hospitals senior officials at the FBI and CIA and not only sitting down in the same church with them but are heading the churches and becoming priests of those churches one of them even dared to become the president of the most powerful country in the world for some people they are excited about the new development to them it's positive progression but to some others it is still a shock it is still perceived as an insult it is still unacceptable and so they bear this bigotry in their hearts but bearing it in their hearts is not the worst of it they pass it over to their children because no child is born like this this is social conditioning in full display children are 
born accepting and neutral and innocent. They're born like a blank paper until an adult tells them or shows them or makes them. Maybe peers, but yes, this behavior is not natural instincts. It is a learned and groomed behavior. But I will not make that the whole subject of today's video. God forbid I do. I would consider it remarkably dignifying to these chaps to make them the subject of the whole discuss. I would rather channel my focus to the main subject, the hero of this incident. This bold, brave, audacious, unwavering, gallant black kid. Oh God, my heart swells with pride. Boy, you are a visionary. You are spectacular. You are a wonder. You see, when I came across this video and I perused through the comments, my utter dismay was quickly replaced by sheer disappointment. I saw a couple of comments calling or inferring this chap as weak, feeble, cowardly, lazy. <laughs> read this. Just read a part of this. This person says, rule number one, teach your children to fight back. Enroll them in karate class and boxing class. And this comment has over 6,000 likes as at some days ago. And another comment worthy to mention here is this one that says, living in this world in general is not for the weak. <laughs> we need to teach our children to be bold, confident, and defend themselves. If this was my son, it means I have a lot of work to do on building up his confidence and learning to fight for himself as a young man. <laughs> And I will say that wisdom does not necessarily come on a head that bears grey hair. Wisdom is not just actions and reactions. It is calculated risk. Wisdom is not in the person that knows how to fight the hardest. Wisdom is in that person who knows when to speak and when to refrain from speaking, when to act and when to constrain oneself from acting. There lies real undiluted wisdom and what this young chap has just demonstrated is absolute wisdom and maturity many marriages that have broken is because some of we adults do not have the balls to act like that child many deaths <laughs> many scars that we bear many lost friendships is because we adults oftentimes hastily act in the heat of the moment impulsively under provocation without settling down to wisely weigh our odds. 1. In this video, we saw at least 4 irate, violent looking, obviously in some kind of gang, acting all bigger than life and erratic, ready for a fight. This child was obviously outnumbered. Come back to reality. This is not Beekeeper. He is definitely not Jason Stratham. This is real life. And he was heavily and obviously outnumbered. Secondly, perhaps he nursed the thoughts of running away, taking flight. Of course, that's one of the easiest things that we can sit in our houses and type. Why didn't he run? But you could see him scan around his environment, looking for exits, looking for help, looking for a way out, looking for one who could quickly come to his aid. But help was not close. If he made an attempt to run and he had four bigger boys chasing him, perhaps they could have caught up with him and even pushed him from behind and he would have been down on the floor at a more humiliating, condescending, ridiculed and disadvantaged position. And so he chose to stand with his shoulders up. He resisted. He tried to walk away from the situation, but the boys were quick to barricade him. And despite he knew that he stood no chance against them, he never buckled under pressure. He did not show any signs of weakness. He stood gallant with that gentle calculated smile. That smile that was not lost for a second. He did not show fear. He did not need fear to be able to appraise his situation and apply the best discretion of that moment. He is a boy with wisdom, a child with the demeanor of a man. This child understood that this gang, aside from being physically able to rough handle him and met out injuries to him, this child knew that because of the number of opponents he had on the other side, he might not be able to win against them in a physical brawl. 
He also comprehended the fact that they could be armed with dangerous weapons, daggers, pen knives, even guns. He knew better than putting himself up to be just a statistic. He did not want his parents to weep for the rest of their lives. He chose logic over passion and then he conceded and kissed the feet. Not because he is foolish, no far from that he is anything but foolish, but because he is a king who knows that the man that fights and runs away lives to fight another day. And while some people might call him weak, I call him the real Udugu. One man army, the original definition of men mouth. You know, we have come to terrible times where male with discretion, men with good discernment are now called simps. You treat your woman like a queen, you are a simp. You choose peace over violence, you're a simp. You take the side of good conscience in a discourse and just because your opinion favors another gender, you are automatically categorized as a simp. But the truth is that it is mostly the simps that call intelligent men with superior discretion simps. It is usually the empty ones who believe that the better option must be violent, mean, abrasive, crude and rude. They believe that these techniques are the manly thing to do but in their impulsiveness and their irrationality and their lack of empathy and good discretion they display the zenith of simpleton. If this kid would have fought this four aggressive boys back and he was killed while doing that, a lot of the people who dropped these kinds of comments would have turned around to say he should have just done it just for that moment, then fight back later or handle them one after the other. But he should have just, he shouldn't have been stubborn. He should have just done it and get it over with. Who would even remember? He would still have his life, his whole life ahead of him. Some of them would just type rest in peace and believe me in the next five minutes, they have forgotten that such a child ever existed. But his family would grieve for the rest of their lives. So while it is impossible important and recommended that we teach our kids how to stand up for themselves, how to stand their ground and show resistance in the face of oppression. We should alongside teach them risk assessment and remind them to apply logic above emotions. If this hero's parents ever get to watch this video, I want them to know that they raised a champion. I want them to know that a lot of people do not believe that their child is weak. I want them to know that they raised a wise man who would rather act sensibly than impulsively. And I for one, I'm extremely proud of him. Now that is my own opinion, which I believe of course cannot be universal. So I would like to ask you, what do you think? In all sincerity, paying no mind to what is my own personal opinion, what do you sincerely believe should have been done by this boy in this situation? Do you believe that he should have made an attempt to fight back or do you believe that he's completely right by succumbing to his bullies and doing as he was told? If you're living in the West and you have been a victim of the R word, you can drop your experience down in the comment section or if any of your children have experienced it, how did you handle it? What measures are you putting in place to limit their exposure to such things? Do drop everything you think down in the comment section. It is important that I note here before we close the video that when this clip made it out, of course it caused outrage both on social media and even in the community where it happened. It has now come to light that this child only relocated from Zimbabwe to the UK three months ago in December only to be confronted by such a very ugly incident. All four boys who attacked this kid have now been arrested. The lead actor was arrested on suspicion of racially aggravated actual bodily harm, while the other three were arrested for abating it. We will keep our eyes open on this and if anything substantial comes out of it, be sure that I would bring it to your notice. So guys, yes, we have come to the end of today's video. Don't forget that I asked us to share in the comment section our experiences with such things. Even if you're living in Africa, we have our own localized racism called tribalism. If you have been a victim of tribalism, even in your country, <laughs> please share down in the comment section so we can all read 
and learn from each other so thank you so much guys again for watching if you're new here seeing my face for the first time or if you've been watching without subscribing don't forget to hit the subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up drop all your thoughts your comments your feelings down in the comment section and stay glued because we have so much more coming your way it's me your girl barista neze and this is nezeville i'll see you guys in my next one for now